Good evening, or good day, or good morning, whichever time of day you are when you're looking at this. MJ here, and we're going to continue with our lesson on songwriting made easy. Today I want to talk about a few different things and uh, kind of get into the uh, get past the introduction and go a little further. But one thing I want to mention is, um, you know, there's a quote that John Lennon made, and when it comes to songwriting, it couldn't be truer. What he said was to be true to yourself. And that's one of the most important things when it comes to writing a song. Be true to yourself. You know, I always tell people, I write what comes out. What's in there is what comes out. So be true to yourself. Don't try to, you know, write a song just like somebody else did. Or maybe you have some favorite songs that represent a style of music. That's fine. Go for that style. But don't ever try to write a song just like somebody else's because they did it. And you want to challenge yourself to do it. So examine your motives. Mm -hmm. Secondly, um, you know, what's the purpose of the, behind the song that you want to write? Is there a specific purpose that you have for it? Are you trying to record a commercial song that will be played on commercial radio? Because one of the things to keep in mind is, is if you do do a commercial song, then you got to limit it to three minutes and 30 seconds. That's pretty much the standard length of a commercial song. And if you make it any longer than that or get it too long, then you won't get it heard. They'll look at the length and say, nope, it's not going to happen. So getting it to the right people is important, but you got to keep in mind that um, length is very important if you're going for commercial purposes. Now, if you're just writing because you want to write a song and because you want to express yourself through your music and through your songwriting, then that's, that's what I encourage you to do. You know, if there comes a point where you have a song that you really like and you want to make it into a commercial song, you can always go back and edit it later, make it shorter, you know, make it something with more commercial appeal in that sense. You know, music is the universal language, and the songs that you write are your voice to the universe. And so I like to keep that in mind, that this is me expressing myself. And, you know, really, the audience that I start with is the audience of one. Do I like it? Does it feel right when it comes out? You know, what does it inspire me to do? And what is the message of the song that I'm singing? Because that will have a lot to do with the creative flow that you get into when you write songs. If you're wanting to cultivate your gift, which is what I encourage you to do, cultivate the gift of songwriting that's in you, then really the sky's the limit. There's no limit to what you do. And my method of writing is a little different than some people, and your method of writing is probably going to be a little different even yet. But I want to make the point that these course and this course that I'm, I'm doing here is not a course, it's not a guitar lesson. I'm not going to try to teach you scales or teach you how to make things, you know, uh, all the basics of composition and those type of things. What I'm going to try to show you how to do is tap into the gift that is put in you, in you and how to bring that gift forth and create music with it. So this is not a course on the fundamentals of composition. It's not a course on the only correct way to compose a song. You know, there's many ways to write songs, like I said, and this is not a course on how to correctly compose a song. This is also is a course on how to effectively express, express yourself through music. That's what I look to do. I want to express myself, whether it's an emotion that I'm feeling at the time, whether it's something I've experienced in my life that I want to express, whether it's a love for someone or something, then that's all um, good and fine. And that's, that's kind of what I want to show you is how to tap into those emotions in yourself and express them through music. This is also a course on how to find the inspiration that will connect yourself to a song. You know, The Voice is a very popular show right now, and they're always talking about the connection that you have to a song. Well, songs that you write, you should certainly be able to connect to. And if you can't, then you're really writing from the wrong vein. You're, you're writing from the wrong part of your being. You know, songwriting is not a mental exercise. It's really an exercise of the heart. And the more you can tap into the true emotions that are inside of you in a song, the more appealing, really, it will be to others. Because they'll feel that emotion through the music that you create. It's also a course on how to find the freedom that music, and specifically writing, will give you. 
You know, there's no greater joy or no greater passion for me when I write a song and I express something that I want to express. And then when I go into the studio and I begin to record it and I begin to see all the possibilities for that song. Um, I, it's just a, it just makes me feel alive. It, it gives me a, it releases the passion that was put inside of me. And lastly, this is a course on how to express the emotions that a song provokes. You know, like I said, music is a universal language. And music and songs provoke emotions in other people. There's been a lot of great songs written through the ages that have been about different events or different things that have happened. And those songs always provoke some sort of emotion. And that emotion is what really ties into a person's soul and touches a person's soul that listens to the song. You know, I think back of songs that I heard in high school I haven't heard for years, but somehow I remember the words because of the emotion that I was feeling at the time and the emotion that they provoked in me.